Wrong ones part ways, right ones find their way. The article I'm sharing with you today is about not getting married and marrying the wrong person. Which one is more frightening? People say marriage is a woman's second reincarnation. Is it unpredictable? You need to know, in a woman's life, marrying the wrong person is more terrifying than not getting married. A happy marriage, the right person can make you see each other every day without getting tired, smooth and natural. A bad marriage, the wrong person will only make you compromise, miserable and pitiful, enduring harm. Marrying the wrong person is taking the wrong path. Not getting married is having no path. Are you willing to stand still in one place, or hesitate to walk down a path just to avoid staying in one place? Once a woman reaches a suitable age for marriage, she is always pressured to make a choice. So how should she choose? Caution is crucial. Marrying the wrong person is not lonely. Women keep picking and choosing, never meeting the one that they recognize at first sight, yet they settle for less. Marriage is for two things, not being lonely now, and having someone to rely on in the future. For them, the loneliness of being alone now is real, and the fear of having no support in the future is also real. But is the person they marry really wrong? This risk is unknown, so weighing the options, someone who is neither very likable nor very dislikable can be accepted. You think this person looks neither good nor bad anyway, perhaps, he will lead you to a calm and stable life in the future. You think that with a little luck, Maybe fate will arrange a good person for you, but you don't know how much blood and tears true love between people, who have experienced friction can withstand to achieve happiness. And you don't know that even lovers who have been in a long-distance relationship for many years. Many people, before marrying the wrong person, think they can take a chance, only to realize after marriage that the loneliness of one person is loneliness, but the loneliness of two people is isolation. The person you want to marry is not just someone who adds vitality to your life, but someone who can accompany you in laughter and mischief, ask you why you are not happy today. A comforting soulmate. The person you want to marry is not just a companion for the rest of your life when you grow old, but someone to rely on when you are hurt, the second harbor in life after your parents. Marriage is not everything for women, but many women are burdened by marriage. Real marriage lacks the wonder and romance of novels and movies. There won't be adversaries who can't stand each other turning into true love and entanglement. Mostly, it's not a breakthrough in silence, but a tragedy that either erupts or dies in silence. So, if you're going to get married, marry the right person. No need to hurry, no need to settle. Sometimes you just need to wait a little, not this second, maybe the next second, even in the next second. Once a woman reaches a marriageable age, she is always urged to make a choice, so how should she choose? Being cautious is important. Marrying the wrong person is not lonely, more and more women choose not to get married. They calmly assess the risks and benefits using a business-like approach, and indeed, they get the freedom and happiness they want. They have countless reasons for choosing to be single. However, being carefree also comes with the helplessness and pressure of being single. Not long ago, a 26-year-old woman jumped into the river. After being rescued by the police, she said she felt overwhelmed. He doesn't want to get married, but people around him are urging him to get married. You think that not getting married means no worries, but not getting married itself is a worry. Parents worry about your future, relatives speculate if there's something wrong with you, even good friends who have been married and have children drift away because you no longer share common topics. If the opinions of others don't matter, the pressure from parents is the pain every young person cannot resist. When the phone calls from parents, after brief greetings, start pressuring you to get married, when parents repeatedly, directly over the phone, ask you when you will get married. When parents talk about you not being married yet in front of others, there's a slight embarrassment. Even when parents face you after a breakup, blaming you without understanding the situation, you can resist occasional loneliness, but you can't resist the gaze of people around you. You find momentary happiness, but you can't find a reason to convince others for a lifetime. Not getting married is carefree, but few people can truly be carefree. But smart women, they show the charm of their single life, because shutting up those who urge them to get married will always be the satisfaction of living well. If you are elegant and calm, living life like the rich aroma of coffee, how can others dare to criticize your life? If your life is in a mess and you are financially tight, living life carelessly and patching it up as you go, how can others be convinced? You can live well on your own, you don't need to make decisions that you think are good for you. Not getting married is not wrong, but what's important is to live your own good life. 
The charm of being single is not about being able to feed yourself without burdening the family, but about living a colorful life alone. Love doesn't have an early or late, there's only right or wrong. Whether a woman chooses to marry the wrong person or chooses not to get married, in their hearts, they both see marriage as a ferocious beast. The former fears that if they pick and choose for too long, this ferocious beast will become impatient and won't give them a chance, shattering their lives. The latter completely treats this ferocious beast with negativity, avoiding it, even unwilling to understand the good it can bring. Just purely avoiding. But in fact, whether it's love or marriage, they are not scary. They have no time, only right or wrong. As long as it's right, it will come sooner or later, and that happiness won't be discounted. So, if you haven't had enough days of being single, then continue to be single, no need to label yourself as forever unmarried. You are pursuing freedom to do as you please, why confine yourself and spin your own cocoon? Just go with the flow, don't miss the scenery, don't miss the right person. If you want to marry someone reliable, then continue searching, you can speed up the process, but don't marry just for the sake of getting married. Always remember, your goal is not just a marriage certificate, but to find someone you love. He doesn't have to come like a prince on a horse, but he must be like a magician, able to conjure up your happiness from his hands. People in this world are diverse, creating diverse marriages as well. But as long as you choose the right person, despite different paths, you can eventually reach the end of happiness. So, women, marriage is just marriage, it's not entirely life, but it is a part of life. What's important is whether you can live happily, so there's no need to be on high alert, no need to escape in front of the battle lines. Boldly walk in front of him, see which person he brings you into contact with, and see if he is the right person. If you're not satisfied, just wait. As long as you focus on happiness, happiness will never escape. Sometimes, it just takes a little time and patience. May every woman grasp her own happiness. That's the end of today's sharing. Thank you for supporting Improve Better Daily. Feel free to leave a comment and tell me your thoughts. Don't forget to like and share with your friends. Looking forward for your comment.